vending machine. There are two types of input, which is coin and gun for selection. The first type of input, which is coin, include 10 cents and 20 cents. And the second type of input is the gum A and gum B, which represent by press A and press B. After the four input, there is a level to path. Here is the accumulator which used to accumulate the coin inserted from 10 cents or 20 cents. After that, there is a 7447 BCD to 717, which is used to display the coin on a 7 segment display. After that, there is a comparator used to compare the price of gum with the coin inserted. There is two comparators. The first comparator is used to compare the coin and the price of gum A, which is 30 cents, represented by 3 in data B. Then the second comparator is used to compare the coin with the price of gum B, which is 40 cents, represented by data B. After that, got two substrator. The substrator is used to substrate the coin inserted from the price of gum when the inserted coin is greater than the price of gum. Two of these substrator only enable when there is greater signal from comparator 1 or comparator 2. Substrator A is to compare with the price of gum A, which is 3, represented by 30 cents of gum A. And substrator 2 is used to substrate the coin from the price of gum B, which is 40 cents, represented by 4. After that, since there are two output of balance, so we need a four bit multiplexers to select which output is the final and the correct balance. So in here, the selector for multiplexer is determined by the output from controller, which is this band A and this band B. When we choose gum A, this band A will give one and then it will select the balance from the substrator 1, which is substrate the coin inserted from the price of gum A, which is 30 cents. And then if the disband B is 1 from the controller, then it will select the output from substrator 2, which subtract the coin inserted with the 4, which is 40 cent of gum B. There also will be a done signal from controller, which represents that the whole process is complete. When the done signal comes from the controller, it will clear the accumulator, clear the comparator, two comparator, and two substrator. So the whole signal will be reset. Okay, so now let's move to the waveform. Okay, this one is a waveform of data path unit. Okay, so uh, in this example, we assume that the customer first insert a 10 cent first, and then after that, maybe he continue to insert a 20 cent. At this point, if um, he already insert 30 cents, it can be choose either continue insert coin or press gum A. Okay, maybe in this case, we continue, we choose continue, we assume that the customer continue to insert the coin. Maybe he insert one more 20 cents. Okay, so at this point, the customer can decide one to choose gum A or gum B. Maybe in this case, we can assume that the customer want gum B. Okay, so 
I think this one is data path unit only. So uh, when the customer press B, we assume that dispense B will be out, mean that the gum B will be dispensed, which is controlled by the controller part. Okay, so at here we just put dispense B to 1. Okay, so after dispense B, the B already dispensed and then the balance already come out. The um, done signal will be 1 from the controller, which represents the process is done. Okay, so let's simulate it. Okay, so this one is the waveform simulation for data path unit. After the customer is insert 10 cent, the 7 segment display will show the 10. And then after 20 cent is inserted, the total will become 30 cent. And here the 7 segment will show 30 cent. And after inserted another 20 cent, the total become 50 cent, which is also will be shown on the set one segment. Okay, after the customer inserted 30 cent, the equal signal will be 1, which show that the coin inserted is equal to the price of gum A, which is compared in the comparator 1. Okay, after the customer continue to insert the coins, the total coin will be 50 cents. At this point, the greater signal will be 1 and it shows that the coin inserted is greater than the price of gum A and gum B. And for the choice available will be shown in the controller part. Okay, then after insert enough money, customer choose to press B. Press B will send a signal of request B to the controller unit to show that the customer want gum B. And then after the controller receive the signal that the customer want to buy gum B and the coin inserted is enough, it will come out a signal of dispense B. Okay, so the gum B will be dispensed and since the inserted coin is 50 cents, which is greater than the price of gum B, which is 40 cents. So it will also come out the balance of 1 10 cents, which is represented by 1 here. Okay, so after the gum has been dispensed and the balance hands out, the controller will know that the whole process has been completed and the controller part will send a done signal to the data path unit to inform the data path unit that the process has been completed. So after receiving the done signal, the data path unit will be reset. It can be shown by the seven segment which display the coin inserted is zero, is zero here, and the balance will be reset to zero which means that the vending machine is ready for the next process. So this is the ASM chart of the control unit. So if the control unit does not receive any, any signal from the data path unit, it will remain in the state 0, which is initial state. If the, if the control unit receive the, receive the equal or a greater signal, it will, uh, the system is the control unit is started. If the signal, if the equal signal is received, and then it will go to the available A, which is uh, gum A is ready to be chosen. So customer have uh, two choice: whether, whether in the state one, the customer uh, have two choice: whether uh, want to insert another point or want to press the gum A. If customer want to press the gum A. Uh, it will go to the state 3, which is uh, gum, A, gum A is released. And then system is done. And then uh, it will go back to the, it will reset back the system. So if the customer choose uh, insert the another coin, and then uh, the system will go to the state 2, which is, which is uh, system is available gum A and gum B. 
and then customer can cho uh, choose uh, either two gum. If customer want to choose gum A, it will go to stage 3 and then system is done. And then if the customer want to choose the gum B, it will go to the stage uh, 4 which is gum B is, uh, is released and then system is done. So this is the circuit of the control unit. Uh, in the control unit, uh, use, we use the one hot method approach. So this is uh, the waveform. So uh, if the system is equal, and then customer insert the another coin, and then uh, we can see in the equal signal, the uh, the gum A is ready to be choose. And then if customer insert the another coin, the gum B, a, gum B and gum A both can be choose. And then if customer want to press the gum A, and then the gum A will be will dispense. So this is the combination of data pass unit and the control unit of the vending machine. So as we can see, it has uh, four input, which is customer only can insert uh, 10 cent and 20 cent coins. And then if the coin inserted is, is uh, enough for the gum, for example, enough for gum A, and then customer can press the gum A. Otherwise, the customer can insert another coin. So, uh, the system is accumulate the coin and then it will display in the seven segment, seven segment display. And then it will also uh, calculate and acc accumulate the balance if the customer insert uh, extra coins. And then the output is available for the gum A and gum B, if the price of the if the coin inserted is equal to the price of the gum, and then the output will also show the uh, gum uh, after it uh, it dispense. So this is the simulation of the system, the emission system. In this week, as we can see, the ten cent, uh, the first of all, the system is zero. And then when the coin is inserted, the seven segment display the 10 cent and then when customer insert extra 20 cent and it will appear 30 cent. And then it is enough for the available of gum A and then customer press the gum A. So the gum A is dispensed and then uh, system will clear again. So in the second case, if customer, uh, if the system already have 30 cent then, and then customer choose to insert another coin, for example, insert another 20 cent and then the total have uh, 50 cents. And then customer decide to choose the gum B. Alright, this is the simulation of case 2 uh, if, custom, if the system re, uh, receive 50 cent and then the customer press the gum B and then we, we can see uh, the, gum, the gum A is available and also the gum B after, after the 40 cent and then customer press the uh, gum B so the gum B is dispensed so as we can see, the 77 display uh, 10 cent, 30 cent and 50 cent. And then after gum B dispense, so it will return a balance of uh, 10 cent. So that's all uh, from us. Uh,